Don't pick up the phone You know he's only calling Cause he's drunk and alone Two Don't let him make you new I can't kick him out again Three Don't be afraid You know you're gonna wake up In his bed in the morning And you're under him You ain't getting over him I got no rules I count him What's up guys, Brittany J here. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be trying out these new beauty booklets that were sent to me by LA Colors. So we have, you know, blush booklets. I have two of those here. So we got the blush ones and then we have the eyeshadow booklets. So they got nude and holographic. And then they also sent me highlight and bronzer booklets. Uh, okay, let's kind of try to hold this the proper way. <laughs> so highlight and bronzer booklets as well. So I'm going to be going ahead and doing a full face using that. I also used LA Colors foundation as well. So a lot of this look, most of this look is actually by LA Colors. And I really like the way it turned out. So if you want to see how I got this look using the new LA Colors beauty booklets, then please keep on watching. So I've actually never tried eyeshadow by LA Colors. So I'm actually really excited to see what I could come up with. So first I have a holographic palette, which looks like this. It's all shimmery shades. So I definitely don't think I can use it by itself but over here we have the nude palette so this one has some mattes in it so I'll probably be using them together and come up with a halo eye because you know halo eye is my thing well half cut creases are kind of my thing too I guess I just have a two things that I do so anyways yeah uh, let's get going I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eye and then I'll zoom in just a little bit so you can see how the magic happens so I'm gonna start with the nude palette and I'm gonna go ahead and take this really dark cool tone brown and put that all in the crease with my m4 3 three brush so I'm dipping into it and not getting like a lot of kickback or anything which makes me think that it may not be that pigmented but we'll see I mean I feel like my brush didn't get anything on it so let's take a test yeah it's like there a little okay let me try swirling it instead of tapping okay now I'm getting the kickback so let's see if that helped yeah, I think I got more that time. So I would recommend swirling your brush in the pan instead of like dipping. So I'm just packing this on and we'll start lightly blending it out. And I'm gonna try a different editing technique this time. So rather than try to show you everything and then fast forwarding it, I'm going to just only show the parts where I'm talking and kind of skip around. So I'm gonna try that this time and you let me know which way you like better because it'll save me a lot of time <laughs> editing if you like it cut instead. So yeah, I mean, honestly, it's blending like really, really, really well. Like I'm pleasantly surprised. I thought it was gonna be like patchy. I was expecting that, but I mean, you can see it for yourself. It's not at all. So that makes me happy. Yeah, that, that was really, really pretty. Okay, so now I'm gonna take for a transition shade. I'm gonna go with the middle one which is this eh, warmish neutral. If only I could find the brush I was wanting to use, you know? <laughs> I'm gonna take it on my Sigma E38 brush. Use code BJ for 10% off. This one's giving me a little bit more kickback than the first one, so I dabbed it instead. I am so pleasantly surprised. Like, who knew LA Colors had really nice eyeshadow and especially how affordable it is. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take more of that first shade and just bring that up just a little higher. Blend the two together. Wow, those blended together really nicely. I have no patchiness. I have no fallout under my eye. I mean, I can't even complain at all. If you're looking for a nude palette that is, you know, affordable, hell yeah, pick this thing up. I mean, this thing is freaking nice. I'm so shocked right now, but happy in a good way. And I'm also gonna pack that cool dark brown shade on the inner and outer corners to start that halo. So I'm just packing and dabbing on both sides and then I will blend it around like this. And then using my shape tape, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it in the center and make that halo shape. So just making that little weird shape and then I'll go ahead and clean up the edges. So I'm gonna take that dark brown to clean up the edges of this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and dip into the holographic palette. So I'm gonna take the green shade right here down at the bottom and use that as the first step in the halo. I wish these had mirrors, but obviously mirrors are gonna make the cost go up a little bit. So I guess I'm okay grabbing a palette with its own mirror, a different palette. going on funky and it's a lot darker than it looks like in the pan let me keep going okay it's not so bad now that I'm blending it out 
Okay, so it's so weird. This side looks shimmery and this side looks like weird and matte. Let me fix that or try to. Okay, I feel like it's okay. Let's move on. So for the next part of the halo, I'm gonna go ahead and take this darker gold shade here and I'm just gonna use a little bit of that. Blending together properly, so that's good. Okay, okay, okay. Coming together. We're coming together. It's finally cooling off here in sunny Las Vegas. How's the weather where you're living? It's today, it's like super cloudy, like windows behind the camera so if I look cross-eyed right now I'm looking past the camera but it's like really cloudy and like rainy I hate rain itself but I like like the before and after rain feel feels nice it looks like I need to add some more brown over here but I'll fix that in just a sec and then for the very inner portion of the halo I'm gonna move back over to the nude palette and I'm gonna grab this lighter goldish kind of shade here and put that in the center And I like putting the lightest color all the way kind of over and then down the middle. I don't know. You'll have to see. So it's like you got like a little tornado in the center. That shape. I, I don't know, Brit. Just to stop. Yeah, I like it so much better now. Now that we've got the center going. And now I'm going to go ahead and take the dark brown and clean up the edges again. So clean it up here and clean it up here. And we are halo eyed. Okay, that, that came out good. Like, I'm not complaining. I don't really like the green shade in this palette. It's okay, dark green. But I really liked the gold and I really liked the other palette. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera and then do my base. And then I'll get into the other palettes, the blush, the bronzer, the highlight, etc. So I'll be right back. So here it is with both eyes all complete and lashes added. I didn't do eyeliner this time because I just really love a spotlight eye without liner. I don't know what it is. I just like it better that way. So anyways, I'm so excited to try the blush palette. So I have this one, which looks like it's going to be really well suited for darker skin tones. This one right here. It's so weird for me to see shimmery blushes and shimmery bronzers. So I'm like, eh. <laughs> but this one is a little bit lighter and these are matte i think there's one shim nope nope they're all matte so i think this one is going to be the one i use because i'm not i'm just not sure about i mean it literally says blush it doesn't say it's highlighter or anything else so i'm not sure about shimmery blush but hey maybe it's a thing i'm missing out on so who knows i'm gonna go ahead and give that a try though and put that all on my cheeks so let's see what shade do i think i'm gonna take i'll take this pink one the darker pink one over here and i'm not getting a lot of kickback oh yeah i am okay so let's see how this goes it's actually pretty pigmented my cheek is rosy not bad not bad and of course for foundation i decided to use the la colors truly matte because obviously it's an la colors type of video all right so that blush is very pigmented i look like a doll now i like it so i'm gonna go ahead and take a look at these bronzing highlight palette things another thing that struck me as really strange is that the bronzers are also like shimmery kind of looking i don't know like i just feel like that's so so weird i've never used a shimmery bronzer like is there matte ones in here? No, nope. also shimmery as well. So, I mean, I'm going to do it for the sake of the video, but I'm not really entirely sure how this is going to turn out. This one looks lighter and this one looks more like medium to dark. So I'm going to take this shade down here and use it as bronzer, I guess. I mean, this is super weird. I'm going to give it a go. Oh my God, that is so weird. I mean, on camera it doesn't look shimmery, but in person it looks so weird. And it's very like reddish based, so I'm not gonna grab too much. But yeah, it's definitely got a sheen to it. Okay, but it's not really bad. I don't know, I'm torn. It glides on a lot easier than a normal powder, but I don't know. I'm just not sure about it. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's harsh. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know. I just feel like it might be harsh, especially on this side. I'm trying to blend it out. Eh, I don't think I... I like the way it looks on this side when I turn like this, but straight forward, I'm like, I don't know. I'm scared. Let me try it on my forehead. Oh, God. It's so red too. Like my skin is not that red. I would like it to be a little bit more orangey for me than red. It's not the worst, but I don't 
think that I would purchase it again. I don't know. Let's just see how it finishes up before I make my final judgment because now Loki it kind of looks good. What the f Brittany? What the f Okay, Loki it kind of does look like good though. I don't know. What do you guys think? I feel like it's a little red. Who knows though? Maybe I'm tripping. I definitely don't think I'm gonna nose contour with this. I'll just leave my nose a big fat honker. All right, we're gonna give the highlight a go. So my eye is catching this first shade up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that with a dry brush and just see how it goes on without any like setting spray or anything like that. Okay, that's actually a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, that's, that's a good highlight. That's a good highlight. Okay. A little shook. All right, yeah. The highlight's pretty popping. I wasn't expecting all that. All right, well, you know, you lose some and you win some. Hello, Rudolph. I am not disappointed. I am not disappointed. I freaking like it. It's popping. All right, I got issues today. Anyways, so I think I need a little bit of inner corner brow bone. So I'm gonna grab the other highlight palette and take the shade right chion which is kind of similar to the one I just used, but I mean like really similar, but it's a little bit lighter. So that's it for today's video, guys. I'm actually living for how it turned out. Like the highlights are so bright. Look at my inner corners, like yeah. So the eyeshadow palette worked out really well. I thought that they would be just really cheap and not that good. So I was kind of like, eh, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about that, but it actually turned out to be really good. So the booklets are all $6 each. So for six freaking dollars, absolutely. Especially the eyeshadow palette. I liked the nude palette a lot better than the holographic one just because it had mattes in it too and I felt like the, all of the mattes worked really well that I used so the, this for freaking six dollars you get nine shades and it's actually pretty freaking good I know a couple people asked me where do you even get LA colors from because I hardly ever see it but you actually can get it at Walmart Family Dollar Kmart dollar store so it's very affordable and it's really not that hard to find I haven't personally seen it at my Walmart but I also haven't looked so I have seen it at Family Dollar though so these most likely would be there because Dollar Tree for example, doesn't have anything over a dollar. So if I were to guess, I would say Family Dollar is going to be one of the places you can find this in person. And I mean, like I said, six dollars for each of these. I am very impressed. I very much approve. I still don't know how I feel about the shimmery bronzer. I mean, now that the looks all done, I feel like it pulled together okay. But I'm not. I'm not sure. So I'm going to give it another try. I also think that the shade I used might have been a little too dark. So I might try the other one next time. But like I said, overall, because of the highlights being so good, I would still purchase the palette with the bronzers in them because the highlight. I mean, like, I did not expect it to be that bright. I didn't expect it to work that well, and I didn't wet my brush or anything. So overall, I'm pleased. I really do like these. So if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a big fat thumbs up. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also that little notification bell. That way you get notified every time I upload a new video. If you want to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, my handle is just BJ Makeup, spelled out like this. And until next time, bye guys.